Hamill from Hollywood. Hamill Cigarettes presents The Ed Wynn Show. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> just a minute, Pussy, just a minute. That's the cat's pajamas. <laughs> and I have a new sponsor. A new sponsor and a new year. Now my sponsor, my new sponsor, his... What's his name? Uh, <laughs> I just had it in my mind. Just <laughs> it was on a sign there. So. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Camel. Camel. That's my new sponsor, Camel, from now on. <laughs> I mean, for a while. Uh, Camel. Camel. <laughs> but Camels, they're my new sponsors. I should remember. It's very easy to remember. All it is is Lee Max fell backwards. <laughs> and the new year, this is, uh... What is the new year? It's, uh... Oh, 1950. <laughs> I should remember that, too, really. Because it's my salary, 1950. <laughs> and you'd be astonished to know where the decimal point comes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 1950 should really be a wonderful year for all of us, ladies and gentlemen. All we have to do is to forget all the mistakes we made in 1949, all the mistakes we made in 1948, all the mistakes we made in 1947 and the years before. If we do that, we can start out the new year of 1950 making mistakes that we never made before. <laughs> Telephone. I'll use my cigarette phone. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hello, my new, new sponsor, Winston Salem? Hello, Winnie. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. I've been smoking. I've been smoking camels ever since Winston met Salem. <laughs> oh, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yes, I know all about them. <laughs> I'm doing it now. I'd walk a mile for a camel, yes. <laughs> I don't get it all. You've got a message from a friend of mine. Patricia Morrison? Oh, I'd love to watch that. Beauty and talent made Kiss Me Kate a Broadway hit. And one whose beauty and talent carried her to stardom in this great musical is star Patricia Morrison. When she's off stage, Miss Morrison needs only a cigarette and lighter, and she can express the feeling of contentment to a tea. The cigarette? Camels, of course. Miss Morrison made the popular Camel 30-day test in her own words. There's nothing quite like camels. They taste so good, and they're so mild. Yes, Miss Morrison, camels are so mild that in a recent test of hundreds of people who smoked only camels for 30 consecutive days, noted throat specialists making weekly examinations reported not one single case of throat irritation due to smoking camels. But make your own 30-day test in your T-zone. See if you too don't agree that camels are the mildest, best-tasting cigarettes you've ever smoked. This is a great scene. <laughs> now, you know, I am supposed, I'm supposed to announce that all these bathing suits are shown through the courtesy of coal of California. <laughs> Except mine, yes. <laughs> oh, look, there's Desi Arnett. Desi Arnett? Hello. 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 Desi Arnaz. Desi Desi Desi. Desi doesn't speak English, does he? <laughs> These are the kind of jokes, you know, that will 
eventually ruin this medium. Desi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you? Oh, muy bien, Eduardo, muy bien. Estoy muy bien, chico. Me gusta estar aquí esta noche con todas las muchachas, esta bonita, y todo el mundo aquí, la escena, y usted. Y tú sabes que todas las noches, todas las semanas, yo te veo en la televisión, y me gusta mucho el show tuyo, muy bueno. Well, I don't speak Spanish, you know. No, I didn't understand one word you said. That was just wasted effort as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but I will get an interpreter. Do you mind? Wait, wait, wait. Do you mind? Senorita. <laughs> Senorita. <laughs> Look here. Senorita. I would like to tell you who this is Desi Arnett and Desi. This is Lolita Papita Chiquita Papita Carmenita. Okay. Um, uh, Mesquita. <laughs> I would like you to translate for me. Would you do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <whistles> up to now, I understand it. I <laughs> get it up to this point. <clears throat> Señorita, usted es la cosa más linda que he visto. Tiene unos ojos muy preciosos, una cabellera, un cuerpo, todo la cosa más linda que he visto en los días de mi vida. What did he say? Did you say hello? I think that lost something in the translation. <laughs> Would you tell Desi that I'm very happy to see him? That gained something in the translation. <laughs> Could you send me back that message, Desi, you that I just sent back. you? Yes. Well, señorita, quiero usted decirle al señor Edwin que es muy bonito y darle un beso también, ¿verdad? Oh! <laughs> I could chat with you all night like this. <laughs> you know, uh, Ed, we don't need an interpreter. I can speak English very well when I want to. I'll thank you to keep a Spanish tongue in your head. All there is to it. No, I'm only kidding, Desi. I'll tell you what I'd like you to do. Will you please sing? Because people know Desi. I just sing. You must sing. You must sing. I love to. Will you? I love to. And uh, the Senora? Senorita, I can never say that. <laughs> Senorita, which is the female of sombrero. Uh, <laughs> we will go someplace and uh, translate a little more. You want me? Uh, you want me to sing? <laughs> Whenever old man trouble makes trouble arise, it's through that big straw hat over your eyes. You never see the circumstance making you frown if you just push your eyes onto the ground. Life can be a simple thing, a simple thing To laugh and sing Get yourself a heart of straw and put it on Don't take it up And pretty soon your troubles will come to an end Because you simply will not see them, my friend To visualize permanent sun in the sky Big straw hat over your eyes the rents in arrears, big straw hat over your ears, you'll never hear the dialogue tragically grim, if you just put your ears under the brim, life can be a simple thing, a simple thing, to laugh and sing, get yourself a heart of straw and put it on, don't take it up, thank you half a month, I'm pretty good. Your troubles will come to an end because you will not see your hear and my friend to visualize permanent sun in the sky with a big straw hat down, big straw hat down. Yes. Desi Arnett, really, Desi, th that was great. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. And uh, Sepulveda Boulevard to you. <laughs> uh, uh, but Desi, you can't get away with just one song. <laughs> really, I want to tell you that I'm sure that everybody, everybody wants to hear you sing the song you made famous, Barbaloo. 
I'll tell you what I'll do. Lizzie, I'll go and get I'll go and get a bongo drum for well, you. I have my drum over here. No, I'll get it. 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 Applause. What was the applause for? I got my drum. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> but you can't sing with it. You need a bolero jacket. You need a bolero jacket. All right, all right, you I'll see? I'll, I'll fix you up. Well, I, I, I have a bolero jacket over here. Well, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get you <laughs> What was that applause? What was, what was that? I got my jacket. Well, it's a beautiful jacket, but it doesn't deserve the ovation it got. <laughs> According to that, this one wouldn't even get a hand. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I just, I'll put it down here. With, I don't know. I'll get your hat. I don't need a hat. I'll get your hat. I'll do it without a hat. I'll get, I'll get Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball. You, Lucy. you know, Lucy, this is wonderful. I love you, you know, in your radio shows every Friday night. You know, the ones called My Favorite Husband. I love him. I love him. I... Uh, no, 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 no. I want you to sing, Babalu, but uh, wait, wait. <laughs> Did, uh, do you ever... Do you ever see my, uh, uh, my uh, shows? Yes, Ed. I, I wasn't see... supposed to. You were supposed <laughs> to know that, you know. I see all of your shows, Ed, but you know the one I like the best? The one no. about silent television, the one you did with Buster Keaton? Oh, did you really like that? I loved it. Oh, you mean the one where the, if the sound breaks down on the television set, they can still enjoy the, the picture? That's the one, yes. Oh, yes, that was great. That was great. You know, Desi, I want to tell you about it. You see, I did a scene with him, and this was one of the big scenes of all time. And we'll, yes. would you like to do one like that? Oh, I'd love to, Ed. Would yes, you? I'd love to. <laughs> all right, we'll do a silent television show. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Just, just wait a minute. Ed, I'll tell you. How soon do you think that will happen to radio? But uh, silent, you mean? Yeah. Well, soon. They're waiting on it now, you know. <laughs> well, I'd love to do it. You would love to do it? Well, I'd love to do it with you, and, and we'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. How would you like that, Desi? Desi, this is so silly what you're doing there. You'll ruin the whole show. It only, it only lasts a half hour. You play those drums. They, they think it's some African show. That. I tell you what you do, Lucille. You go ahead and get ready, and you. Look at the way he's laughing now. <laughs> he's laughing. He should buy a ticket. <laughs> you, you go ahead. Okay. You get ready for the silent television show. Come on, dear. Come on, yes. No, please, Desi, I beg of you. It's only a half hour show. That thing is. Please, please. That guy must be a Republican. He refuses to give up. You know. <laughs> Gentlemen, will the advertising assistant come here, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you this is really a remarkable thing. Here, here is a package of cigarettes named, as you can see, Y. Pronounced Y. <laughs> This cigarette, as you can see, called Z. That's pronounced Z. <laughs> this is a pack of camels, as you all can see. Now comes this wonderful test that I'd like to show you. Now, I take a cigarette here, you see. This is from the package of Z. <laughs> It's only a half-hour show, but it's... 
<laughs> probably last two and a half hours, you know. <laughs> now, this is from the package. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. I worked out this test, you know. I worked it out last night while a television repairman was working on my set. He was trying to get Hoot Gibson off of Hopalong Cassidy's horse. <laughs> now, this, this is a camel. Would you take one? Thank you. Now, just a minute. I have some matches here. <laughs> There's a nice one there. <laughs> now, I want you to watch this. This is a truly remarkable thing. You wouldn't believe it. Don't forget, this is Z. <laughs> and this cigarette is Z. <laughs> she is smoking a cannon. How does that taste? Oh, that is delicious. So mild. Well, you see, that's because it's a camel. I defy you to get the same result with either of these two. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we bring you a great drama. The star's name is Miss Lucille Ball. She will pay one of the great sirens, the great vampires of the early 20s. Do you remember them? She will be this great vampire, but this beautiful lady is also a notorious spy. And I go to this home because I'm in love with a vampire. Now, the title of it is, the title of this whole thing, I've really forgotten. <laughs> it's so long. Barney forgot it, I didn't, but it's really, it's so long. <laughs> the whole title is so long that we'll just call it Sam. Is it plain to be there?
earth and you'll see yes you'll see they're miles so miles so miles so miles that you want to be that camel suit you to a T to a T let's try camels smoke camels for 30 days you'll have a welcome smile for them smoke camels for 30 days and see why folks walk a mile for them how mild Camel Cigarettes will bring you the Ed Wynn Show next Saturday and every Saturday night at this same time over this same station. Next week, Ed's guest will be Dick Hames. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting Center.